I, I do research in schizophrenia, uh, and my focus within that area is on what are called negative symptoms of schizophrenia, and those are problems with emotional experience and emotional expression, the ability to communicate one's emotions, the ability to feel pleasure from what would normally be pleasurable experiences, uh, difficulties with motivation, and uh, also communication. And within that area, I'm focused specifically on uh, motivation and pleasure difficulties that some people with schizophrenia have that really cause a substantial amount of disability in their ability to work and enjoy social interactions uh, and participate kind of fully uh, in their communities uh, and in society. Um, I use functional neuroimaging primarily as a method to study this and uh, that allows, so um, functional magnetic resonance imaging basically allows us to take a movie of the brain in action, uh, watching specific regions of the brain activate and stop activating on and off as a person does various things or experiences various things that you can show to them while they're in the MRI scanner. Uh, and I'm focusing my own research currently on an area of the brain uh, called the ventral striatum or the nucleus accumbens, which is known from animal research to uh, be extremely important for reward and motivation. Uh, and uh, what I, I've already found is that in patients with high levels of these negative symptoms of these emotional difficulties, the activity in this region uh, that's important for reward and motivation is lower than normal. And the more severe the negative symptoms are, the lower the activity is when you try to give individuals a rewarding experience while they're in the scanner. I think the hope uh, for all of us uh, is that, you know, that it will lead to new treatments, new ways of diagnosing and treating schizophrenia. Um, you know, I think that a huge limiting factor in progress is just not knowing enough about the basic biology, what's happening in the brain. Um, and the emotional deficits that I was talking about in particular uh, are very poorly understood. Uh, and unlike some of the other symptoms of schizophrenia where we have medications that help, not perfectly, but help significantly, there really are no treatments for the negative symptoms of schizophrenia that have been shown to work. And I think to get to the point where we can uh, develop new medications, uh, we really need to know much more about what's going on in the brain uh, and be able to target treatments. Um, and that's another reason I think the functional imaging approach is, is very helpful, is that it gives us a direct window into these brain regions and will allow us to test faster rather than just taking medications and giving them to actual patients and, and following the symptoms, which may take a very long time. We can actually look and see if we can make the brain circuits function normally very quickly. In one day we may be able to get a sense of whether medication is going to do what seems like it would be helpful in terms of how their brains are functioning and that may help us much more quickly narrow down on types of medications that would be promising to bring into, into bigger clinical studies to see if they can actually improve the, the symptoms.